everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another Idiot's Guide to the Line 6 Helix. I'm your resident idiot, Jeremy Vareo, Jerry Rebel, if you happen to be surfing the music forums. And today, we're going to drink a little bit of coffee and finally create a basic patch. Stick around. All right, guys, we're finally getting to it. We're gonna make a basic patch today, and we're gonna use that as a basis to build off of. We're gonna start with a simple amp cab block, which is a combo block. In my opinion, that's the easiest way to get something in your signal chain and start rocking out and start playing around with the helix and getting a feel for how the amp parameters work. From there, we'll go ahead and start messing with single amp blocks and single cab blocks and dual cab blocks and all that, but that'll be in a different video. For now, simple setup just to get rocking and get used to putting something on the signal path. All right, guys, so we're going to build a patch. First thing we got to do, get away from the factory presets and get over into the user preset area. So uh, if you guys remember all the knobs and switches that we talked about in video number two, the anatomy of a helix, shameless plug. Um, you know, we have to go over to this preset knob. We're going to push in on that. And then we're going to grab this joystick, click to the left, turn to the right, get down to where it says user one, click to the right, push in. Now we've got a blank patch with our signal chain on there. Gonna click over two or three spots to the right because I like to leave room up front for adding things like overdrives, phasers, flangers, that type of stuff. Um, push in on the joystick. We're gonna turn down to where it says amp and cab block. Um, if you recall, the amp and cab block is line six's idealized combo of amp and speaker for the model that they created. Gonna push to the right again. Gonna scroll past all this stuff, get past the Marshall stuff and get into the amazing New Placator Dirty, push in. The Placator Dirty is the Line 6 take on the Friedman BE100, which is hands down one of the greatest rock amps of all time. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> You know, we've got these page buttons right here and you can see there are four pages that we can navigate through. Um, for S's and G's, let's take a look at the cab they picked. It's the 412 Cali cab loaded with a Vintage 30 and they chose a 160 ribbon mic uh, to use on it. Sounds great. Start messing with the amp settings first. Um, I'm gonna bring the treble up to about six. My buddy Brian Mason of the band Contrarian is a BE100 user and he kind of gave me his settings that he uses. Bring this up to about five, bring the mids up to about six. Um, he uses a lot more gain than I would use, but let's see. That already gave it some good bite. I'm gonna page over and gonna turn, let's say the fat's already on, so let's turn the HB E on, so we're now we're on the Harry Brown I mod. <laughs> okay. That's fantastic. That is fantastic, and it's awesome. <laughs> um, the only other thing that I might do is go back to the cab. I like to put some early reflection on. That gives a little bit of the room. The other thing I'll do is switch out to my default favorite microphone, which is the SM7. See, that gives a little bit of teeth. That's just sick. I, 
I laugh when I like something, just so you know. It's fantastic. Okay, so you can see with just an amp cab block, messing with a couple of settings, already have an amazingly rockin' sounding foundation for a very killer patch. I love it, love it. Only other thing we gotta do now is save the patch. So we're gonna hit save once. We're gonna call this Dunks BE. I know there's a fast way to do this. I don't know it yet. Call it BE1 because we're going to mess with this a lot. Hit save. And there you have it. All right, guys, we did it. We got an amp and cab on there. We changed parameters. We swapped out mics, saved and named it. All in all, I would say it's a pretty productive little session. Most importantly, we've got a good, simple foundational patch to really start building off of, right? So when we start digging into adding overdrives and adding delays and mod effects and all sorts of stuff, snapshots, what have you, we've got a good place to start. I think we're in a good spot. So as per usual, I thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys are digging the video so far. If you are, leave some comments in the comments section. If you're not, leave some comments in the comments section. And of course, if you like what you're seeing, and I'm not talking about this whole mess right here, I'm talking about the videos, hit that subscribe button that is either here or here. I don't know where it is, but just hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks, peace.